What's up, Warriors of Jigoku? Welcome back to another Fan Lore Friday. And we are here to show off Wen Huang's character here, great supporter of the channel, Shuba, the mighty warrior. Shuba, I should say. Pardon me. And if you can't tell by the name, this guy actually is a descendant of the mighty warrior, Shu Huang. This is his grandson, Shuba. And I really like how uh, people do that. I don't know if this is like an actual historical person or not. But uh, regardless, I like it when people end up putting like descendants of like Dynasty Warriors, Semi Warriors characters in here. Pretty cool, actually. If it is 100% uh, like based off of their mind, then kudos to you. I like it. Regardless, kudos to you for putting them in here. I like that. But uh, all right, so let us hop in here. So we're going to be going over the ID card. Then, of course, we're going to be doing the backstory. And of course, of course, then we're going to be seeing him kick some ass in the showcase. So uh, without further ado, let us hop in here. So. Name, Shuba, age, 31, species, human, race, Chinese, weapon of choice, the Great Axe, much like his grandfather. Personality, honest, virtuous. How Sun Tzu described a general should be, much like his grandfather, Shu Huang. I like that little thing you added in there. That was very nice. Obviously, I couldn't put that in the card, so I made sure to read that for you. And of course, the appearance white armor, much like his grandfather. Very nice, very nice. And he is part of the Shi Wong army. So guys, I will now stop here and we will go into the backstory and as well go into the showcase. So guys, got to say first of all, already read the backstory and everything, pre-read it and everything, perfectly ready. And got to say, it's a really good backstory. Shows the character's goals right off the bat and everything like that. Shows off his personality and how he uh, just hops into the lore of the warrior lore. So I do like it. Two thumbs up for it. Wen Young, Wen Huang, excuse me. Uh, we don't we don't mention that garbage name, Wen, Wen Young. Wen Huang. Good job on the backstory, bro. Really like it. So, guys, without further ado, if you all do enjoy this character's backstory and his awesome showcase, I was gonna say it's a really dope showcase, but for some reason I couldn't get the word out. If you like that show and like the showcase as as a whole, then be sure to hit that like button and comment down below as well your thoughts on the character. And of course, if you are new to the channel and you like the content and you want to join in the Fan Lore Friday stuff, well, for one, you could hit that sub button so you can be a uh, more aware for these other videos that I do for Fan Lore Friday. And Fan Lore Friday, of course, if you want to be taking part of it, let me just got to comment your character down below or join the Discord to make it much easier on you and myself. And uh, we have a section for Fan Lore Friday. You can put your character in there with screenshots of how to make them and a little bit of a backstory for the character as well. So, guys, of course, well, that being said, thank you all very much for watching in advance. And I'll see you all in the next one. Enjoy the backstory and showcase. Farewell. Shu Ba is the grandson of the mighty general Shu Huang. He inherited his grandfather's splitter of mountains. When young, he trained in the warrior's way, though he was far more powerful and able than his comrades. With Shu Huang as his inspiration, he travels in search of true might, abandoning rank and wealth for his quest. Staying true to the warrior's path, he searches far and wide in order to measure his strength, serving multiple lords and kingdoms, but nowhere was there a companion worthy of his might. As Shu Ba left kingdom after kingdom, each ruler wished to give him a parting gift for his contribution to wars. Most parting gifts were money. Shu Ba had no use for money in his quest for true might. However, one lord at a certain distant kingdom did interest Shu Ba in a parting gift. This lord offered Shu Ba a horse, a horse with flowing manes, as graceful as a woman's dance. As mighty as the sun and as fast as the wind, the lord described this horse with the words Saihan Mangol Mori. The horse had the color of steel and was comparable to red hair of old. Henceforth, Shuba rode upon the horse named Steel Stallion. As Shuba kept training, he also kept searching for a place to test his might. He wandered far still. Eventually, he came upon a land torn by war. As his righteous spirit was set ablaze by the virtuous, he soon joined the Shiwang army. Will Shuba find true might in this distant land?
ここから逆転してやろうぜ Yes, sir. 